What's up, future fighters? We are back. Uh, we're actually back in the code. That's the game there. We are headed. Where are we headed? K zero. Choose strike control. Choose move. So we are kicking back into choose move. Uh, with a setting of minus two, which is a randomization setting. And we had just come back from a combo. And what that means is our strike number is going to be greater than zero. Usually it will be um, two or three. Uh, should be three. Let's see here. I want to make sure. That uh, I'm saying that right. Text set strike. Okay, let's see. You guys have never seen this code before. Yeah, that's where a strike number gets bumped up. What I need to see. No, that's not what I need to see. You go here. What I need to see is what whether I put the maximum value at 2 or maximum value at 3 for strikes, for for combos. Strike number 2. So 0, 1, and 2 are the it's three digits, uh, so three different uh, settings. Uh, but instead of 1, 2, 3, I did 0, 1, 2. And that's just so you can loop things. So strike will be, strike number will be number 2, at least number 2, if not bumped up through number two to number three to cancel everything to stop the combo from continuing on and what that means is that um, Shadow AI will take a look at his link meter and decide well hey if I've got plenty of gas left in the tank I'm just gonna keep going and he'll choose another random move from strike control. Now this is getting interesting. These, this window, you know what we're going to have to do? i going to have to do one of these jobs here. It's just kind of, it's kind of neat. Um, and this is kind of how the the script works anyway, bouncing back and forth. So, so uh, in this particular case, his strike number will not be zero which means goes to a link, transition link. We'll choose one of these. Now, um, it'll be randomized. You can see it'll be randomized 0, 1, 2, or 3 into one of these areas, and they'll choose one of these link moves. Now, that's what we spent the last... Oh, sorry, looking for my water. That's what we spent the last several, several, several um, days. Uh, I mean, weeks months maybe uh, doing I'm just gonna fix the video here I don't know what how I got out that far there we go clean that up a little bit sorry about that <laughs> but I don't know I mean I don't know how long we spent on that long period of time long period of time and you know it was great you know as a result we really you know, we really, really, really got through a lot of these moves. We got through all of these moves here. Um, it was pretty fantastic. So, uh, you know, very, very exciting. Uh, very, very exciting stuff. Um, and it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. But now we're going to reap the rewards from that hard work. Because when Shadow AI gets here and can choose any one of these link moves... What happens is that resets the strike number. And when you reset strike number, you can start doing combos again. So it's pretty cool. So we just did, uh, uh, you'll have to go back and watch the previous videos from today to find out how we got here. But, um, and you just go to the Feature Fighter playlist on YouTube and you can just watch them sequentially. So we started at zero. We ended the combo. We came back here to choose a link. It doesn't matter which one we choose. We're going to do a link move. Let's just say we do choose number six. And number six is 
going to be, oh, let's do this the right way here. Reference files, we want shadow, we want this move. It's going to look like this. Move forward, does a block breaker, which for uh, Omega, shadow is controlling the character Omega. It's, uh, it's a little... It's a little move like this. It's a Chinese move. Uh, basically, you, you take down the person's block. There, most people, when they block, they put their hands in front of their face. So this takes down their block and then rolls over top of it with a, a strike. And he uses a fist, uh, just like a hammer, uh, kind of like a side hammer fist. Hammer fist is usually uh, like this at you. And so it's kind of like to the side. So anyway, hammer fist to the side of the head, temple, you want to hit the temple area. Uh, this is where you can fracture people's skull. Um, it's the, the skull's thinnest here. So whew, you, want to, you want to go there. So, um, and that's one strike, which is beautiful. That's, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful. So love that move, love that move, love that move. And after he does that, he's going to, where's he going to go? He's going to go to end combo. And <laughs> this is awesome because end combo leads here, which means you get to bypass it again, and you get to go back to strike control again, except this time you've got plenty of link reserve, and you come here, you go to strike number zero, and you get to choose you know, one of these, any one of these, and you get to randomize again. So it makes sense then to keep uh, move number zero here. It uh, that counter strike when you're you're already in, you're staying in. Um, that is a key to having you know a, a good follow through combo, which is why this number six works as well because you're also staying in. So, you know, we, we had coded this previously while we were actually coding something else. And it looks like it was a good choice at the time. And it's good to check that off. Uh, we're going sequentially through all of these moves here. And this was the first one we started with. So, checkbox. Looking good. If you are enjoying this and you're enjoying this coding, go to docbrockgames.com and click right here to subscribe. And then click here. And check out the alpha features of the game. Uh, got them all listed right here for you, as well as the two characters that are in the game. And some wicked screenshots for you to check out. And there's another side chop. Uh, man, that would hurt. Um, he doesn't actually hit Omega in the back of the head. That's actually Omega rolling with the punches after getting struck. Uh, but he would have hit in the side of the face. Devastating if Omega didn't have this suit on. Whew. Devastating. Anyway, uh, most important, scroll down all the way down to the bottom and put your email address in. And I'll let you know when this game comes out. Then go back to YouTube and watch me make more game. I'll see you then.